All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back. And this is episode three of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode with me, Lord Snoot. And you join me just wrapping up a sifting marathon. Wow. Okay, so I'll just put this stuff away and then we will get talking about what I have accomplished in the interim. <clears throat> Dug down a little bit into our base just to give ourselves some more storage room. So, what we have managed to do, we have managed to get some lava on the go in these crucibles. I'll it back up while we're here. Just a bit of cobblestone. Let it roll, let it melt. We have, what else have we done? We have finished the Tinker's Construct uh, Smeltery. And I've also managed to get our cobble gen. And all I've been doing is standing here. Vein mine, vein mine. The good thing about the vein miner is it actually draws the um, destroyed blocks into you. So much, much less likely to lose things into the lava with that. Just need to repair this pickaxe, which has a couple of modifiers now, you will see. Mining XP boosted. We've also got 100 redstone on there, so it's a little bit quicker. So that was good. And I think we saw that this had got upped at the end of the last episode. But right now, I mean right now, we are going to be looking at... I wish we do building a mob spawner so I need to be 24 blocks from where we're generally going to be hanging out so Z272 so we want Z248 so up here this looks good just trim this off a little bit <clears throat> now it's only going to be very very basic mob spawner to start with Nothing too fancy. I just want somewhere for mobs to be able to spawn during the daytime. And then we'll use that with our, to level our throwing knives up and also get some root, uh, loot bags on the go and gather the stuff that we need from the loot bags. Just do a couple more rows of this just to clear out a bit of room. So we're going to need to do one, obviously it's dark so mobs can spawn, I want it three high so Enderman can spawn in there. That's going to be very important for a supply of um, Ender pearls. But also I want it so Nothing can see us. If one of those John Cena creepers spawns in there and sees us, we have had it. So my thoughts were something along these lines. Six, eight. How far is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11. <laughs> so this is going to be the, where the mobs spawn. This is going to be the platform that they spawn on. And in order for us to get up, that's going to be the killing level. Just put some half slabs down. And then we'll use this to get in. That's going to be no. That's really bugs me. That Ooh. we'll leave that open for now, so we can get in. Oh, wrong one. 
So that's one. That's one high. That's two high. That's three high. And then we'll cap it off with another slab so nothing can spawn on top of it. And I think we'll go and get a builder's one and speed this up. See if we can spend our diamonds on something. Um, down here into our loot. Two diamonds. And we only need one. Mind you, I'll show you what I was going to do with that other one. In our furnace, we have some cooked up stone. So I'm hoping I can, yes, make a chisel. There's our diamond wand. Then if I chisel this into mossy cobble, or mossy stone, I can then change that into balls of moss and I can then get that auto repairing so I don't have to keep faffing about with the uh, flint. I don't know if anyone heard that, that was actually my post box going. So back up here. Love a good builder's wand. Now then, is it F to change the mode? Or M. How are we? We've got plenty of cobble left. I'll tell you what, that cobble gen as well. So that's that. We're going to need some more slabs. We're running out of light. Just do that because we can always turn them back in. Back into the normal cobblestone blocks. And here we are up on up on the roof. Robson and Jerome, I think. Nowhere near as good as um, whichever one it was in Game of Thrones, but there you go. Cap that out. But that needs to be there. Just. So that should be yeah delete those now the only problem is if I'm stood here a skeleton could see me up there but I can't think of a way to avoid that so if one of you guys can let me know and I'm hoping in the daytime that's going to spawn everything we need our mob drops so I'll show you what else I've been up to while we're waiting for something to happen there um, as I said in the last episode I was going to get to get to some sieving whoa that was lucky and I have sieved a stack of gravel a stack of sand and a stack of dust and that's what we got from the gravel stack that doesn't want to be there, but that's what we got. So I'll take some of those. We'll get that fired up in the smeltery. In fact, no, we won't. We will. What was it? Aluminium and copper, wasn't it? Aluminium and copper. So we'll pull that out of all. This is the sand chest. Copper, aluminium. Copper, Aluminium, that's the dust chest. So it's 60. We've got boatloads of iron already. <clears throat> but iron wasn't what we were really concerning ourselves with. It was aluminium brass. So what we can do with these more 2x2s. Two twos. Uh, 
like so. And then we can actually, well, we can't do anything with the dust ones. But we can hammer these ones down again. More of the constituent parts. And there's just a way of multiplying this. It's, every time they break, they've got a chance to drop more, so. We might as well do it. We won't bother it in the future, but right now, when times are tough, we need to be maximizing everything we can. So that two became a three. I don't know if you noticed. So all that can go back and then we will run over to our smeltery. It was three to one. I think it's aluminium to copper. So we're a bit backwards. Um, well, we'll see. We'll also have a little look in our mob spawner. So, I think it's three to one gives us aluminium brass. And then we're going to have to go and get our stone. Yeah, nothing in there, but that doesn't surprise me because there's lots of places for mobs to spawn at night. But during the day, I'm hoping that's going to prove extremely beneficial so let me get my head straight we want one of those to repair our not that our shovel thank you and then we're going to need some stone to make our parts so we will start with pickaxe tool rod Oh, we can actually make the binding one from that. And if we just have a look in our book, it's going to tell us what to make. So we need a gear, a gem, a nugget, plate, tool rods, binders. Right, okay, so. I never remember all that, but it is worth a go. So the, we need both the binders. We need both the tool rods, crossbow pattern, plate, the other crossbow and I can see it. Did I make it? There it is. Crazy, sometimes you just can't see if we're looking. Both the tool rods, let's have another double check. Cleaver that is. Need more cobble. Fortunately cobble isn't an issue anymore. There's the cleaver. Then it was a gear. So what do we use for the gear cast? What's that one? That looked cheap. Four sticks, four stone. That is cheap. Four stone. Four sticks. And then we go one, two, three, four. Into there and a bit rough around the edges. Hard as rock. That's me. And then a nugget and a gem and we don't have any emeralds yet I don't think so that's gonna have to wait but the first one we can get done this side eight aluminium brass and that was three and one hmm and there we go there's our first Piece. I want a tool rod. Binder. Pickaxe. How many have we got left? Four. I 
One, two, three, four. And what we'll do is we'll grab a chest. We can keep those by our smeltery. He says putting it somewhere where you can't open it. That's just going to remind us what we still need to do. We can melt down that copper. We just and I can melt down those two. So I just need one more aluminium. I wonder if it's worth just. Um, Sieving those, see if we get it. Close that door, don't any creepers dropping on that head. How many have we got? We've got one in there, three in there. It's so unlikely we're going to get it from the dust, but you never know. We're more likely to get it from this sand. And that'll finish the casts up, but we still need to think about how we're going to get an emerald. Probably loot bags, I would suggest. There we go, that's our... Aluminum problems sorted. For our American friends, that one. Now then. I once heard a story that aluminum or aluminium was actually discovered in the States. And they called it aluminum and it was us arrogant Brits that said, oh no, that doesn't sound like the rest of the elements that have been discovered. Um, you're going to have to call it aluminium. And oh, we're going to call it aluminium and it knickers the rest of you so whether that's true or not I do not know but sounds feasible sound like all the other elements you know like gold and silver and iron <laughs> so we now can make ourselves some iron tools which is groovy but in fact what we might do just had a brainwave is we might let's have a look how much iron have we got we have got a lot I was just thinking we could make some chain mail put that in the smeltery and then we could make steel tools but I think we'll just stick with iron. Um, an ingot cast as well, so let's get this cooking. We're going to need another brick or something, aren't we? So I'm going to have to put one in here. Seems like an awful waste, but there we go. I'm not seeing any nuggets or anything we can use for a gem. That's a shame. You can be used as a mould for the ingot cast. And we are going to check out, before we do anything silly, if this is going to work. Durability 240. That's a bit better. So we're going to want one of you one of you we'll probably make the other bit out of paper and I am going to cast unusual and that's jumping on now what's that saying almost 
done. Let's have a look at a good reward bag this time. Agri-craft stuff, which no doubt is going to come in handy later. And an iron paxel. Huh. Does that stop us in our tracks? I'm going to say yes. That's quite a good reward because that saves us some iron and some faffing. Although I don't know if you can level them up, so maybe we still do continue on with our plan. In fact, I am going to continue on with our plan. do is I'll make another tool rod just to get rid of that half a janky liquid and then we're gonna we've got seven so now one thing you can't do in this mod pack is make blocks in your crafting grid you have to cast your blocks out of this smeltery so that's going to be fun So I think what I'll do is I'll just keep firing all this stuff into uh, the smeltery, get it all smelted down. That might be quicker than the way we're doing it at the moment. But I'll experiment with that off camera. So have we got any paper? I can't see any. Is there a strange recipe for it? Because we haven't got sugar cane. Oh, we're not into thermal expansion or mechanism yet. Papyrus. I don't think we've got any books yet either, have we? So I'm hoping that that should be spawning bad guys. But it's not. We might just need to sit and farm that for a little while. But in light of our paper shortage, I am going to go ahead and cast that out. Probably do a couple just to get rid of the odd numbers again, the half a ingot, etc. So yeah, I think we're going to be drawing ourselves to a close once we've got this um, iron pick made. <clears throat> so we'll go and do that. I've just noticed it badly placed. And there's a couple there as well. I don't want to get be attracting mobs down to see us. That is for sure. I'm starting to get feel a little bit safer, but look, for example, take your eye off it. That could have been devastating. And that's where all the mobs are. Look, you can see on the minimap. They're all spawning down there, so I need to get down there and eliminate that spawning space. Now we have got our hovering boots, which is going to prove useful. I've just seen a creeper. And he's seen me, so let's try these out. Bingo. So yeah, I think off camera I'm going to spend a bit of time lighting all this sort of stuff up. Because here you can see all the mobs coming to see us. Just seen a creeper behind us. It's 
Tell you what, they don't give him much chance. Just have a little run round here. I like this little area up, but then we'll go back to our humble abode with our floating on uh, sneaking on air ability. Make that pickaxe, and then I think we'll call it an episode. Ow. Right, time to get. Let's bug out of here. So yeah, I think we'll make this pickaxe, I'll make up a load of torches, and I will go for a little lighting ritual. There's our pickaxe, I'll keep that for later in our tools chest, along with those, that goes in there, I'll be cooking that lot up, you, 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 and you, and let's have a little look what we get. Gunpowder and wheat. Perfect. Okay, so that seems like an excellent idea, if I do say so myself. So we will put a little break in here, and then we'll be back in episode four. Blood Moon, typical. Just when you start thinking you've got one. Back in episode four for some more shenanigans and hopefully by that time we'll have an emerald to let us pass this block and through here still need to find a blue dye to finish that one off and then we'll be looking at sieving for to get that electrotine and so our basic power but yeah you can see we're making progress through here so anyway thank you very much i will see you in the next one